A U.S. Department of Agriculture report out this week says that this year's corn crop yield could be a record setter. Some experts predict farmers could harvest nearly a billion bushels. This comes after a year where corn almost became a household luxury. News 10's John Swanner found out what's behind the big gains, what it means for farmers and for you. What a difference a year makes for Indiana farmers. Indiana's the garden spot of the world right now, it really is. After last year's devastating drought pushed yields to their lowest levels in a decade, Indiana farmers are set to rebound this year, big time. When it comes to corn yields, the state of Iowa usually has the highest bushel per acre rating, but this year that's going to fall to the state of Indiana. In fact, 70% of the state's corn crop is rated good to excellent, more than double last year's corn crop. In a typical year, Indiana corn farmers on average get about 150 bushels per acre. Some farming experts say this year's figure could be 166 bushels per acre. Which is the highest in the nation, so we're no doubt going to have a big corn crop. Kay Whitlock is a local grain merchandiser. She tells us projections from the U.S. Department of Agriculture are actually lower than from those within the industry. The government may have their reasons for their cautious projections. The only thing the analysts think that they've done is they're counting on either an early frost or the corn in the western corn belt up north that was late planted not reaching maturity. Farmers planted this year's crop late, so it's about one to two weeks behind schedule. An early frost would devastate yields. However, if no frost happens, then the question is, do farmers have the storage space for record yields? Kay says yes. All of this ultimately means we'll see food prices drop. By this fall, the beef prices should come down, and it's almost unaffordable, so hopefully that happens. It's just that the trickle-down effect does take a while for it to happen. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, I'm John Swanner, News 10. The USDA predicts the nation would see its third largest crop of soybeans this year. Growers should produce more than 260 million bushels, up significantly from 223 million last year.